Collective research. Active fundamental research in global capital markets. Make informed decisions. Asana, Inc. is an American software company based in San Francisco whose flagship Asana service is a web and mobile work management platform designed to help teams organize, track, and manage their work. Asana, Inc. was founded in 2008 by Dustin Moskowitz and Justin Rosenstein. The product launched commercially in April 2012. In September 2020, the company was valued at $5.5 billion following its direct listing. Asana is a software-as-a-service platform designed for team collaboration and work management. Teams can create projects, assign tasks, set deadlines, and communicate directly within Asana. It also includes reporting tools, file attachments, calendars, and goal tracking. In 2022, Asana released features for team organization. This included My Goals, automatic progress updates, and integrations for Google Workspace and Figma. This negative net income indicates that the company's expenses are far greater than its revenue, resulting in a substantial loss. The net profit margin, expressed as minus 74.52%, signifies that the company is losing 74.52 cents for every dollar of revenue it generates. The total assets of $954.96 million exceed the total liabilities of $598.39 million. This is generally considered a positive sign for a company's financial health, as it indicates that the company has more assets available to cover its debts and obligations. A debt-to-assets ratio of 62.66% means that approximately 62.66% of the company's total assets are financed by debt. A current ratio of 1.9872 suggests that the company has almost twice as many current assets as current liabilities, which is generally considered a healthy sign of liquidity. A debt-equity ratio of 0.131 indicates that the company has a relatively low level of debt compared to its equity. The ROA is minus 42.6999. A negative ROA indicates that the company is not generating a profit from its assets. Instead, it is incurring a significant loss relative to its total assets. The row is minus 114.3572. A negative row indicates that the company is not generating a profit for its shareholders. Instead, it is incurring a substantial loss relative to its equity. Financial Outlook For the fourth quarter of fiscal 2023, Asana expects revenues of $144 million to $146 million representing year-over-year -year growth of 30% at the midpoint. Non-GAAP operating loss of $60 million to $57 million. Non-GAAP net loss per share of $0.28 cents to $0.27, cents, assuming basic and diluted weighted average shares outstanding of approximately $215 million. For the fiscal year 2023, Asana expects Revenues of $541 million to $543 million, representing year-over-year -year growth of 43%. Non-GAAP operating loss of $230 million to $227 million. Non-GAAP net loss per share of $1.15 to $1.14, assuming basic and diluted weighted average shares outstanding of approximately $200 million. Mutual Funds Holders Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF Vanguard U.S. Total Market Shares Index ETF Vanguard Institutional Total Stock Market Index Trust Vanguard Small Cap Index Fund iShares Russell 2000 ETF Champlain Mid Cap Fund Advisors Inner Circle 2 Champlain Small Company Fund Vanguard Small Cap Growth Index Fund Vanguard Extended Market Index Fund Vanguard Information Technology Index Fund Institutional Fund Holders Himension Capital, Singapore, Private Limited The Vanguard Group, Inc. Champlain Investment Partners, LLC BlackRock Fund Advisors D.E. Shaw & Company LP Discovery Value Fund, Investment Management Tiger Global Management, LLC Himension Fund, Two Sigma Investments LP, Renaissance Technologies LLC, Asana Top Competitors, Trello, Microsoft Planner, 
Monday.com, Reich, ClickUp, Smartsheet, Airtable. If you would like us to research a stock, please tweet at Collective ReC or leave a comment here. Like and subscribe for potential investment ideas. Become a member at www.collective-research.com and receive our research reports before they are published. Collective Research. Active fundamental research in global capital markets. Make informed decisions.